All right, once you have successfully installed the software, next thing is we have to make an OPC connection. So we'll make an OPC US server in our Scala software. All right, so once you go to this um, web page, localhost 8088, go to the status, and here you will see there is no connection. So you can click on that, and it will say you want to create a new connection. Yes, we want. Click Create New, and click Create New OPC Connection. Okay. Now we want OPC U8, it's a universal architect. This will support our Siemens PLC, or it will also support many other softwares which we are going to use. Uh, if, you are, if you are going to read the tags of PLC in another software, you can use OPC U8. This is very, very much flexible and easy to communicate. So click on the next, and then it is asking for endpoint URL. Now, this is the endpoint which you have to define here. So here they say example is OPC, if you can read it opc.tcp 00004096 discovery now what you can do is you can define this endpoint url and this instead of 00 it should be your ethernet card address so as i told you if i show you my card address we config it's 192.168.1.106 this is the ip address of my ethernet card okay so i have to use the same syntax opc.tcp so if i show you here i have used this before so notice here opc.tcp colon slash slash 192.168.1.106 that's my ip address and that's the port address so let it be 4096 by default slash discovery this can be your endpoint url based on your ethernet card this will be different in your case rest will be same okay so select this endpoint url and click choose server and now it will give you three options now basically localhost is the same ip address as my uh, ethernet card rv home is actually the name of my pc 127.001 is also a default so you can select the name of your pc or you can select localhost doesn't matter so you can you choose which server you want so let's say i choose localhost and click select endpoint now my local host server is here now it is asking if i want some security security policy is none mode is none if i want to use uh, id and password to connect to my uh, opc server then i have to define it here so by default i will not choose any security policy as of now so i use the source point and then you click finish so your opc us server name you can define it here this is by default here description i can write for my siemens plc's it doesn't matter you can write anything here enable is right read only is if you just want to read and not to write but we want to write as well so i will not check this username password i will not use it as of now so create new opc connection so your opc connection is created and you see here status is connected and read only is false this is important because we are going to write some tags and we need opc server so if you go back to the status again you will see here opc connection is connected okay i hope this step is very easy you have to follow the step you don't need any hardware as of now in creating opc server you just can create in this kind of software so here as well you have to make sure the status is connected okay so this is about creating the opc us server now the next step is we have to add devices in our scada software now you see here devices is zero now devices are my siemens plc devices okay so how to do that click on the devices and then create new create new device again now you can select your plc it suppose alan bradley it suppose um, uh, modbus if you don't have alan bradley or if you don't have siemens you can use a modbus tcp as well for delta plc omron plc's and other plc which is which supports ethernet communication that is also possible and there are different other drivers as well so i'm going to use s7 1200 this is my plc so i'll click on next and now i have to give the name i will give siemens one that's my first plc description i don't want the host name the host name is the ip address of my plc as i've shown you here the ip address is 192.168.1.100 so i will use this one here this is the ip address my first plc create new device so just create it two steps and it will try to connect and say it's connected now it is connected because my plc is connected to my ethernet card so if i show you if i ping my plc i will get if i will get a response so my ethernet card is communicating with my plc so it will say connected 
if you can't see connected here it means there's a disconnection or misconnection between your computer and the plc similarly if i check my another plc seven this is also connected and giving me a response so i will create another device now again siemens s7 1200 next name siemens 2 107 create new device so it will try to connect and you will see the status connected so my two plcs are connected so let's go back to my status here my opc server is configured my two devices are added so this was the second step you have to do add your opc connection and add your devices all right so this is it for this video in the next video we will see what you have to do in the plc to make this connection there is one two more steps which are required if you see if you see your device are not connected or sometimes your tags are not connected i will show you what are the steps involved in the siemens tr portal to build a successful connection so see you in the next video